like Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City, right? These are like the popping spots. I'm like, you're like, hey, literally, like, just got Wi-Fi set up. Oh, this is oddly. Nice. So you're going to get a, like, a higher quality tenant base. You're going to get a tenant base that's uh, usually you got a lot more college degrees. You got a lot more credit scores above 700. You got a lot more folks making over $50,000 a year. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Gordon Square, y'all. Gordon Square. One of the hottest, hottest, sizzling neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. Man, when people talk about the resurgence, right? You hear people talk about the resurgence of Cleveland. They're talking about places like Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City, right? These are like the popping spots, right? And I got a Pop and turnkey deal for you, right? 6900 Lawn Ave, right? It's a little 3 1, uh, and it's been pretty decently renovated, okay? Uh, and it's going to generate 1400 bucks a month for you guys, right? Now, as you see, it's you know, it's a pretty nice renovation, right? You got the gray paint throughout, you got the like the loan D low, I was going to the low depot, the Home Depot Lowe's quality kitchen. Like it's, it's nothing like amazing or anything like it's serviceable. Okay. And if you're thinking like, dude, what, that's like the quality you need to generate 1400. It doesn't have to be any higher end than that. I will tell you this guys, uh, this house, if you watch like a lot of what we do here on Holton Wise TV, right. And if you don't, you friggin' should man sub baby. If you want to learn the Cleveland market, market, uh, as well as a bunch of other markets in Ohio. We also service Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Youngstown, Akron, Canton, Toledo, or as I like to refer to it as Diet Detroit. We service all those neighborhoods, y'all. Uh, so if you guys want to learn those markets, uh, you should be subscribing to Holton Wise TV. Uh, but Cleveland specifically, if you pay attention to a lot of what we're doing, you don't often see single family homes in Cleveland itself renting for 1400 bucks a month. And it's not that the seller went in and did something like above and beyond level special. Uh, for this particular single family home to generate that much in rent. Uh, in fact, it's the dirt, right? It's the locale. It's Gordon Square. People are renting this particular house from you guys because of this location. This is literally one of the biggest draws in the Cleveland market right now, right? This is like right up there. Uh, with like a place like Lakewood or some other mentioned cities, right? Tremont and Ohio City. Well, not cities, but neighborhoods. La Lakewood's a city. It's its own city, and motherfuckers love to live there. And then in the city of Cleveland, motherfuckers love to live in Ohio City, Tremont, and here. Gordon Square, right? So you're going to get a, like a higher quality tenant base. You're going to get a tenant base that's uh, usually you got a lot more college degrees. You got a lot more credit scores above 700. You got a lot more folks making over $50,000 a year, typically like two income households, right? Uh, then you're going to see in a lot of the other neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? A lot of the other Section 8 type neighborhoods, you're not often going to see over 50000 a head uh, for income. You're not going to see credit scores above 700 right? You're going to see a lot of government subsidies, things of that nature, right? Those are not like major draws, whereas Gordon Square, folks, is a major draw, and you're going to get massive rent, okay? So you're going to take a house like this, uh, and you don't have to do anything like super special. I mean, I'd probably, if I were you though, I, I would probably next time you do a turnover, like always err on the side of making it as nice as possible, perhaps like including like stainless steel appliances and things of that nature. I, I really find providing like as close to like a luxury-esque type feel uh, when you're in draws like this usually works out to your benefit. Um, it is definitely a converse uh, renovation and investment strategy than you would have like when you're in a Section 8 neighborhood, right? Like, for instance, when you're in an area where you're probably going to go Section 8, uh, you know, at that point, you're, you're, you're fighting for survival. You're fighting for your home to survive uh, abuse. You want to harden your unit uh, to a way where it could withstand punches and blows 
like that's both literally and figuratively speaking, right? Because usually when you're renting houses, the Section Eight tenants like they mess up your house, and like sometimes it's literally punches and kicks and blows to your walls. So that is literally figuratively and literally, yeah. So anyway, when you're here though, uh, in a neighborhood like this, right, you're gonna be working with a tenant base that is, you know, typically gonna be a little bit easier on your property, right? So you could get things uh, that really like attract them and stuff, uh, like stainless steel appliances and things of that nature, right? And you're going to be rewarded uh, by, you know, getting a higher return on investment and your level of risk of them, like, fucking them all up uh, is going to be a lot lower, right? So neighborhoods like this are pretty gnarly, and that's why it's one of the most popular areas. That's why you're getting a huge amount of rent. Uh, you're seeing a lot of new development coming in, right? People are buying super old properties uh, in these neighborhoods, and they're tearing them down, and then uh, developers are coming in, and they're building houses that are selling for four, five, six hundred thousand dollars 600000 right? Uh, so you're going to see uh, this particular area continue uh, to rise in value, right? People always are like, you know, asking me, you know, as like a guy who sold $200 million worth of investment properties in Ohio, they're like, yo, where's the best place for appreciation? And I tell people, I'm like, yo, if you're looking for appreciation and you're in Ohio, the best market for you is probably Columbus. Columbus is probably going to be the best growth market in the state of Ohio. If you're looking for cash flow, you want to look at like Toledo and Cleveland, right? Uh, this is an area in Cleveland where you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're really getting to have your cake and eat it too, right? Because Cleveland itself is not necessarily a market I would recommend to you uh, if growth and appreciation is like one of your top three things you got to have. But if it's cash flow and affordability, I'm like, yo, Cleveland's your market, right? So this is one of the rare opportunities to kind of get in on that growth, right? Because this specific little area, in addition to like Ohio City and Tremont, man, uh, you're going to continue to see that growth, right? Because you're going to continue to see developers uh, tearing down old homes and, and building much more expensive homes, right? So uh, in areas like this, you'll see old homes like this, but then you'll also just see a ton of new construction. Right. So this is going to be good for cash flow on the short term and, you know, gains on the long term. So all told, solid investment, turnkey deal in one of the hottest neighborhoods in Cleveland. If you guys want to buy it, cash offers are great, but you don't have to send them in. You could also do financed offers. Uh, so you're going to either send a cash offer or a financed offer to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Include a proof of funds with a cash offer, a pre-approval letter with a financed offer. If you want to start investing in Cleveland, but you don't even have a lender yet, just let my team know. We'll send you our list of lenders. And if you want to tour this property physically on the ground uh, before you actually make your bid, that is not a problem. Also, send your email to get that tour to my team at sales.holtonwise.com. We'll get you set up. Usually, uh, if you send uh, your request to us, uh, we'll, we'll try to get you in there same day if it's like before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you get us in after... Uh, Miller time, we'll probably get you in there the next day, but we're all about getting you in there. We're all about providing you guys with transparency. And I'll tell you guys right now, this one's a banger. And also, if you look next door, uh, if you look, I have a duplex right there next door. Uh, that is also for sale as well. That address is 6904 Lawn Avenue. I will link it uh, to the notes below, and you guys can check out that video too. You might want to buy both. I ain't going to give you no discount though because these are both hot properties that are going to move. So there's absolutely no reason you're going to get a discount just because you buy two because as far as the seller is concerned, it don't really matter if he's selling uh, each of these to the same motherfucker or two different motherfuckers because each motherfucker's got green money, so it don't really matter to him, and you got to set them both up as two separate transactions because they're two separate parcels. So uh, I know a lot of you guys think if you buy two, you get a discount, uh, but like, you know, this ain't fucking Costco, so it doesn't work that way. But if you buy two and you have two properties right next to each other, that will probably make your life easier as someone who's managing them. But if you don't want to manage them, that's fine too, because Holton Wise, we can handle all of your management uh, needs, right? So if you look at the show notes below, you can click on the link to our FAQ, get you all the information on our property management construction services. We can do full service turnkey for you, right? We could sell you the property. We could do the management. We could do any renovations, repairs, turnovers. We could even do the insurance. Uh, or we could do none of that if you want to do it all on your own. It's totally fine with us. It is completely a la carte here. And while you're down, in the show notes, reviewing the other video on the neighboring property, reviewing our cost of property management, I highly recommend you check out my lead-based paint video because 
if this property uh, is purchased by a landlord, because there's also a possibility that somebody could be watching this right now or just they're viewing the property on like Zillow or Realtor.com or the MLS and they want to just buy it to live in it because it's a huge draw over there. Uh, this would not apply to an owner occupant, but if the person who buys this is a landlord, uh, it will need to be lead certified because the new laws in Cleveland require all landlords to get their properties lead certified. And guess what? Holton Wise, of course, we can help you get it lead certified and or teach you how to lead certify it. So there's a full half hour long tutorial tutorial on how all that works. So do your due diligence, gather your information, and then send the offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. In 69 Hundo, uh, Lawn Avenue, sorry. You guys know. Anybody watching these videos knows I don't know where I am. <laughs> so there's that. Got that up. Oh, hold on, starting over. There we go. Sorry. 6900, 6904. I'll get fronts of both. If you're gonna drill a sign in, I'd say do it up there if you can. Uh, uh, hey, climb out that window. I was gonna do it right there. Yeah, yeah that works. Do one right on the front now. Yeah, that way, uh, when the new PM takes that over. That door was blocked, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can I climb out the living room right uh, window, but... <laughs> Plus, this is that special kind of siding that... You saw that light turn on? I'm pretty sure I did. I could watch the footage back, but at this point, we're 15 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I put a lot back on. Lock or unlock the deadbolt? I unlocked it, I thought. But the key that does it, I think, is the one that works on 6904. But that one key in there, I think, only goes to the. <coughs> you okay? No. You wanna turn away real quick? Nothing happening over here, boys. It's a miracle. Let me just see pictures. Shit, this changes everything. Hello? Oh, why is here? Hello, please. Lights work. Cool. Here to film for the owner. Here to film for the owner. I think people are like actively moving in now. Look how these nice look. They got Wi Fi? Uh, yeah. And like. No, like, they literally, like, just got Wi-Fi set up. Oh, yeah, this is oddly fucking nice. Something's wrong. Something's not right, dude. This is, they have a fresh name then. I mean, all the mail is to an LLC, though. Yeah, they got fresh counters and everything in here. Well, they're probably just in the process of, like, old box. Yep. Well, they're not, here, they're not here that often because there's mold in the coffee pot. Maybe this isn't all that new. Does that go to the uh, kitchen, the living room? It goes to the, yeah, living room and the upstairs. This is, look, there's an upstairs. Yeah. They, like, just got in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.